Welcome back to Waz a Day, where Waz today is Suicide, a 1981 release uh, from Steve Hawley and Piccadilly Software, running here on the Apple II in MAME. Uh, content warning or trigger warning as appropriate. Uh, I don't know if you need to hear me say something, but if you do, uh, then there are national suicide hotlines that you can talk to, uh, because it's a very serious thing. They're professionals and they can help you. Uh, but that's not me. I'm not a professional. I'm just a guy with a microphone and an Apple II emulator. And in this case, I've got a keyboard. Um, I tried the joystick controls on this game. Uh, with MAME, uh, I prefer the keyboard. Let's get into suicide here. Press the key to start. High score is nothing. So keyboard is on arrow controls, uh, and you can press space to stop, which is very helpful. And you gotta keep these little uh, lemming-like aliens uh, from falling to the bottom of the screen and dying. Pretty uh, simple mechanics here, but you can see how it's gonna get crazy. There's, there's a few little... Uh, tricks up the sleeve as well, like those ones that just I don't I don't know if there's any way to predict that the ones that will just jet up instead of going all the way to the bottom up. Oh. I think that one was okay falling, but I'm not sure why. Oh, that's not it. Then you've got these uh, special bombs or something. I'm not sure. But you can bounce them too. There's one other mechanic that I haven't really seen yet. Uh, we'll see if it shows up here. Uh, I should say one other mechanic that I'm aware of. I haven't uh, haven't played or seen too much of this game. I did look for a manual. I couldn't find one. Uh, but what I did find instead was very interesting. I found a... Uh... Whoa. Okay, I, I'm not sure what I was supposed to catch that. I don't, I've never gotten that far before. Uh, but yeah, as I, was, as I was about to say, I, I found a very interesting uh, uh, separate copy of this on the Internet Archive. Uh, if you look around for, uh, I think, Steve Hawley's original version uh, is what it's uploaded as. Uh, but yeah, it's it's the programmer's disc before he handed it off to the publisher, and the publisher made some uh, modifications to improve the game. Uh, and there's like a little interesting uh, interview uh, with the programmer there as well talking about the history of this game's development. Um, oh, okay. There's the other mechanic I was talking about. Uh, slight digression. Here to talk about the mechanic. Uh, the, the aliens with, with one ear will kill you and drain your points. Uh, you don't need to rescue them. You, you gotta avoid them. So if you see one with one ear, you should avoid it. Uh, but anyway, back on to uh, Steve Hawley's original version of this game. Uh, yeah, he was 14 when he wrote this, wrote and published this. Uh, there's also a very interesting anecdote in there about how uh, just before he was about to send the game to the publisher, uh, he uh, corrupted the disc. Oh, man. They get you every time. But anyway, he uh, corrupted the disc drive that he was working for, the disc in the disc drive that he was working on, uh, and he thought he had lost the entire game right before he was about to send it, send it to the publisher, but he realized that he still had a running copy of the program in memory, so he printed out the assembler uh, source code and then typed it all back in. And uh, that's part of how we uh, have this version now that we're playing. So a little interesting history there. I'm kind of curious what actual changes are different between those two versions. Uh, maybe I'll check that out on my own or something. Um, but yeah. He said he was inspired uh, by a trip to the Grand Canyon where you mentioned uh, lemming-like creatures uh, running off the edge of the canyon. So, lemming's a popular motif in uh, early game design, apparently. Let's get back into it. Maybe a little less talking, a little uh, more paying attention to the lemmings, in this case. See how far we can get. Uh, the answer may be not very far. I really don't know if there's any way to predict the ones that are going to turn around and go up on their own. 
It'd be useful if you could, because you could just not waste time moving over to him. You do gotta make uh, tough decisions sometimes, because you have uh, unrescuable ones here. And then, like, that one over there, I can see, oh, it's only got one ear. I can not even worry about it. Maybe some of this would be better with uh, joystick. Does that... Should I just let... Okay, okay. I was like, should I just let that go? I don't think... I, I don't know if I've ever let one of these... It seems like a bomb go. The one that's making the noise there. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be doing. Something extra bad will happen if I let it go. I don't want to find out. It's almost kind of like a, a WarioWare minigame or something like that. There's probably another game that is very uh, similar to that I just can't think of off the top of my head. But anyway, this was in 1981 when nobody had thought of uh, that many different games you could do. So maybe a first. I don't know. Are there any predecessors to this that anybody knows of? Oh, do they have a one-eared alien mechanic that drains your score? Like this? I'm gonna guess not. I don't know that I'm a fan of that mechanic. I would rather just, you know, be bouncing aliens. A true game of skill. Because also sometimes, um, sometimes the one-eared ones will be covered up by a two-eared one, and you can't even tell until it's too late, so it's like, that's not fair. When the game's defense, it was written by a 14-year-old, so. Still still doing all right on the game design front. Like, that one there, I can see. I need to get out of the way. Otherwise, I would have uh, died. Because there was a one-eared one, like, right on top of it. I'm not sure if that's intentional or what the deal is. But... One of these days, I'm going to miss one of those bombs, and we'll find out. Maybe I already have and I just didn't notice. I know I've missed some one-eared ones, but I, I assume that I don't need to rescue those. Oh. Oh. Got a bonus. Okay, you get a bonus if you get that fast one. Okay, so maybe the aliens are called CCs here. That's what's in the top uh, left over there on the, on the you know, next to the score and everything. It seems like when one dies, that, that goes down. And maybe if that goes to zero, game over, buddy. Uh, that's not... Okay. Got a one-eared one. Oh, man. Oh, so you just have to do it for the amount of... Oh, man. That's not... Okay. <laughs> exactly the wrong move. I was too caught up. I wasn't even paying attention. Game over. Okay, we got better on our score that time. 3,150. I think it was like 990 on an early run. Let's do another run. Uh, I tried to, yeah, tried to split it. Wound up getting neither. The way she goes sometimes. Oh, I was so close. Should have just not stopped.
You get that bonus. Oh, the bonus is actually pretty significant there. I hadn't really paid attention last time, but now that I know kind of what the range of the scores is, a thousand points is nothing to sneeze at. Yeah, that's not it. I think the joystick might be a little bit faster, but on MAME you have that uh, problem if you're using like mapped joystick to keyboard. Where it kind of like uh, always wants to pull one direction with this game. Some games it does it, some games it... Oh, that's not it. Uh, yeah, some games have that problem, some games don't. I'm not sure what the... What the internal issue is there. Or like, maybe it's how, how they're sampling the joystick or something, but... This game, a little bit better with uh, just playing keyboard. For me. Uh, really uh, dropping the ball here. Dropping the alien, as it were. Maybe I should pay closer attention to which ones have one ear. That's not... Nope. No. Okay, so if you let that bomb one get to the bottom, it also does a similar thing as as uh, getting one of the ear ones, because I guess it bombs the level. Oh man, I'm, I'm just getting worse at this game somehow. That's not what usually happens. funny that they introduce uh, a one-eared one alongside the bomb sound to kind of try to throw you off. Keep an eye out for the bonus. Oh man, so close. Oh, they're coming fast now. I could tell one of those was a one year, so I didn't even bother. Oh no. So maybe it's you get less than three. Okay. I was confused because sometimes you get a game over there and you still have aliens left, but I think maybe it's just if you get less than three. So we've still got uh, 3150 undefeated. Let's do one last round and see how it goes. See if we see past level three. I don't know. Let's find out. Uh oh. Should have just gone in the middle. Well, I gotta get the bomb. Oh, man. Getting close, we got 15 seconds left. That's interesting. Did, did it take a life there and just restart the level? Seems like what happened. Oh, 
Maybe that's why I've been so confused, is because I thought it would give me uh, some other indication that that's what's going on. Oh wait, that's one ear. Oh no! <laughs> That was exactly the wrong thing to do. One had to go. Oh, man. Well, <laughs> that was about to be game over there. That's a game over instead. Uh, maybe, maybe just one more. What do you think? We didn't get past level one that time. I feel like I can I can do better. Maybe not. That's how they get you. You, you, you. you change your mind at the last second and it goes poorly. Now we're already in a terrible place here. <laughs> uh, yeah, so maybe we won't, uh, won't get past level one here. Maybe like some other games, it really uh, comes down a lot to the RNG, I don't know. Kind of depends on which ones they have decide to randomly go up when, and um, what you're... Oh. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention. What your spread is on the, uh, on the aliens that you get. Anyway. In the land of Cece's, the one-eyed alien is king. Or one-eared alien, that's what I should say. That's my bad. I think they're all one-eyed. If, the, if the pink thing is their eye. They're all one-eyed, uh, two-horned. Or that, in that case, one-horned. Flying purple people, people leaders. Uh, yeah. But I think that's going to do it uh, here for uh, Suicide on Waza Day. And I'll see you tomorrow for our next Waza Day.